What's up? How is everyone? I'm hoping good. I am Sunny and I am here with your daily Zodiac uh, messages for Wednesday the 21st of October 2020. Um, so let's get started here. I'm using my Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck. I got it all decked out for Halloween. I love Halloween. One of my pictures I painted. I'm also an artist, or I'm trying to be, at least. <laughs> so, but anyways, let's get started. So the first card is going to be for Taurus. And Taurus, you received the Gossip card. Let me let you see it. I'm gonna put this here, I think. Gossip. This card reminds us that we live in many different worlds. One that is capable of overlooking flaws and one that we find pointing out differences of others. So if you catch yourself pointing out unkind things or saying unkind words, stop and think about why you do this and stop right there. So don't gossip. No more gossiping. Virgo, you received the wisdom card. Take all the wisdom that you have gathered up throughout your life and put it to good use and share with others as this is why we go through the lessons that we have to go through in life. Capricorn, discovery. You need to get out and start discovering new things. You need new discoveries in your life. Um, or maybe you have discovered new things, but you need to put, um, you know, kind of stop doing the same old thing. Stop hanging around the same old people that you hung out with for your whole life. You know, get out and discover new people, new, you know, adventures, anything. Just live your life with discovery. Aries, growth. See those roots right there? And that's all the stuff that's growing. You planted your seeds. Now you're going to start seeing them grow. And you're going to also grow as a as they start to form these roots and, you know, these uh, pieces of grass or whatever it's supposed to be in there. Um, you need to allow yourself to grow. I think that you've been stuck in a rut in for many, many years with maybe dating the same person, the same loser or, you know, whatever, same bitch or whatever. Um, and you, what Spirit is trying to do is help you grow. They want you to have new growth. They want you to venture out. They want you to spread your wings. And so definitely, you know, plant some seeds if you haven't already. And, you know, just kind of sit back, relax a little, a little, and watch them grow. You'll have to obviously put effort into them, but um, that's kind of what I'm getting with that. Moving on to Leo. You received the bittersweet card. Let me see what I get with this. Maybe something was a little too bittersweet in your life. Maybe there was a person that maybe was maybe younger than you. Um, that was a little bit too innocent for you and you had to walk away. Maybe she was underage and you had to walk away. That would be kind of smart. That's only for one specific Leo, just so you know. But um, yeah, I, did, I think it was just too bittersweet. I think that um, maybe this person did really make you happy Maybe you did fall in love with them, but it was it was just not going to last. They had a either you walked away or they walked away. So Sagittarius recovery. So at this time you're recovering, you know, it could have been from a fall, it could be from an illness, you could be recovering from a broken heart or maybe financial trouble. Just know that it won't last long. Just go ahead and, you know, try and go with the flow of it. And, you know, just, you know. Give much gratitude for being able to recover and just kind of let let it all play out. Um, Spirit says that they're they're helping you along with it, and they're saying about four to five four to five weeks is what they're saying. So I don't know what that means. If you um, maybe you broke your leg or something, someone did break their leg. Yep, I could feel it in my leg. Moving on to Scorpio. You receive the Despondence card. This card is uh, crying out to the Great Spirit for help. Being depressed 
and unable to look after yourself or your home. So just, you know, reach out to Spirit and ask them if they could help you during this, you know, difficult time in your life. Know that, you know, we've all been there. We've all, you know, had times in our life that we felt so depressed that we just didn't want to move and we just couldn't get any motivation and just know it's temporary. But I do suggest that um, you do meditate and you do things, you know, maybe get up and try and do some yoga, maybe go on a walk out in nature because that always helps, you know, all of us. And then, of course, if it's too bad, then you need to go see maybe your family doctor and see what they recommend. But hopefully it doesn't last very long for you, Scorpio. Pisces, you have the grief card. So at this time, you're going through some grief. Um, you might have lost some someone to death or even it could be a job over a job or um, maybe just a relationship. But make sure that you allowed yourself to feel that grief, that you allowed yourself to experience that grief because if you mask it or try to, you know, ignore it, you're going to carry that grief with you for many years to come. And, you know, all us humans make the mistake. None of us want to feel pain. Nobody likes to feel, you know, your heart broke or, you know, whatever it is. Um, but the thing is, is uh, why why carry it with us for so many years? Let's just, you know, go ahead and face it and let us let ourselves feel the pain and, you know, everything that we need to feel from it. So then, you know we are able to move on and we're able to move on a lot faster than if we masked it. So cancer insecurity. It looks like you're insecure, maybe in love. It could be, um, just know that the devil is loving that the devil is causing you to be this way. Stop focusing on the devil that's around you. Stop focusing on the people that aren't good for you. Um, don't allow them to make you feel insecure. You stand in your power. Your heart is that big. You have the biggest heart. And so you have a lot to offer. And you, you know, don't let yourself um, or others make you feel insecure about who you are and what you stand for because you're a great person. So moving on to Libra. You received the expansion card. And with this, um, I just feel that, you know, you're moving on in life. You're expanding in different areas of your life. Maybe you're outgrowing like an insecurity that you've had. Maybe you had to leave a difficult relationship. Um, maybe something, you know, maybe you're going, you're, you're trying new things at work or at school, but you're, you're trying to expand yourself into, you know, much more of a wide variety. I have a feeling that laborists have kind of kept themselves kind of, closed off and shut off to the world. And I think they're finally opening up and, you know, kind of blossoming. So that's awesome. Then we have Gemini. You have Facid. This card suggests if you are unhappy in your relationships, you may be relating to others through a false sense of duty. Give up being something you're not. So stop being Facid. And last but not least is joy for Aquarius. And of course, you know, Aquarius joy. I feel that um, you've kind of went through a difficult time in your life. Um, you might um, be moving on from a relationship. You might have received a new job. You might have moved. Uh, maybe you, you have a sudden abundance of wealth. But right now in your life, as of today, you're feeling this joy and happiness. And you're, you're this person dancing around just enjoying life. So that's awesome. Keep feeling that joy. Even when things aren't, you know, the brightest, you know, still find joy in it because, you know, it, it's easier for us to live in joy than it is for us to live in, you know, sorrow and, you know, just anger and sadness. We, I think we, forget, all of us forget that too, because we kind of get stuck there. I'm not saying that you're stuck, but I know that I get, I'm that type of person. I get stuck in that shit all the time and it just drives me crazy. So well, anyways, that's what I had for you, Aquarius. I hope that everybody enjoyed their messages. I hope that everybody enjoys their um, Wednesday. Happy Blue Moon Wednesday. And I'm sending so much love, so many positive vibes, and peace to each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button and share. I'd really appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on my next video.